Hello, it is Saturday, May 1st, and I thought I would open up this vlog because it's the beginning of May, and I don't know how that happened. So, I'm sitting in a parking lot right now because my phone is getting fixed. I had a little accident and <laughs> shattered the back glass on my iPhone. I am not very good at taking care of my phones, to be honest. It had a case on it, I keep a screen protector on it, and I keep a little protector on the camera area. So I'm getting that fixed right now and I have two hours to kill so I went and got myself some boba If you haven't heard there's a boba shortage. I don't know if I'm supposed to shake it I don't think I am but the boba it needs to be shook shooketh So that's that and then I also went to 85 degrees Bakery if you know, you know this place I always like go in there thinking I'm just gonna get one or two things to like snack on and then I end up buying like an entire box full of stuff. That's the plan for today, just kind of doing some life maintenance stuff. But tomorrow, on Sunday, I am going to Leavenworth for a week. I am super excited. One of my friends is coming up from the Bay Area and he's never been there. So we're going to Leavenworth for a week. Leavenworth is super cute. It's like this Bavarian town in the middle of Washington state. Because it's May, there's still snow on most of the trails there and most of the trailheads don't even open until like June or July because they're at elevation and we're at quite a high latitude. But I think it'll be really pretty because right now there should be a lot of wildflowers. It should be a really fun, chill vacation and a good change of pace from being at home in the gray. I'm gonna sit in my car for two hours, drink this bubble tea, eat some pastries and edit. I want to finish this freaking vlog that I've been sitting on since August and it's I'm sure it's already posted so I'll put it in the cards but we're gonna get some work done so let's do it. Hello it is Sunday the 2nd of May and I'm just finishing packing up. I think you can see my suitcase back here and I'm just about ready to go. So I'm gonna pick up my friend from the airport and then we're gonna head over to Leavenworth. So really looking forward to this week. I think the weather is gonna be quite mild. It's around 65 to 70 at this time of year. Should be mostly sunny. I think towards the end of the week, there's a little bit of rain in the forecast. So I'm thinking that we might go further east those days, maybe check out Palouse Falls because the weather tends to be nicer once you go further east. But that's all I wanted to say for now. Just wanted to give a quick update and let you know that I'm about to leave and I will take you along with us. So let's see what we end up doing. Good morning! It is Saturday today. It's the 15th of May. So I just got back from Leavenworth last weekend on Sunday and I was already itching to get out of town again. So I have my little sidekick here with me. This is Pico if you haven't seen him before. And we are off to go explore the Olympic Peninsula. Even though I've camped and traveled by myself before, for some reason I was a little bit nervous about this particular trip. I feel because it's COVID and because I haven't been to this area before, I'm nervous about finding a spot to camp to like post up for the night. Whether that's, oh, I didn't even bring a tent. Yeah, I didn't bring a tent. So the plan is to camp out in the car. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a little bit nervous about trying to find a spot that I can just 
pull off to the side of the road or like pull into a campsite and camp for the night. I'm probably gonna pick up a Discover Pass on the way. I haven't actually done a trip like this with Pico before, so that, that also makes me a little bit nervous. But we'll see how he does. He doesn't love being in the car. He, he can get car sick. So this, this weekend is just gonna be a big experiment, you know? But that's the plan. So let's hit the road. I just filled up on gas. We're good to go. Right, bud? Yeah, we're good to go. Let's go. We got some good news and some bad news. Good news, the second Safeway that I stopped at, I was able to purchase a Discover Pass. The bad news is that Pico just puked in the car. I knew he got, would get car sick, but I think it's because I had him eat right before we left. He needed a little more time to digest. So anyway, I just cleaned that up in the Safeway parking lot. Got my Discover Pass. I'm sorry, bud. smokes we finally made it to the national park visitor center pico has been having a rough ride he puked twice already i feel so bad i think we're just gonna walk around it's about 11 30. there's a little trail here i'm gonna check out i'm gonna see if they have any maps to pick up and then i think i'm gonna eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich because i haven't eaten yet what do you think you want to take a little walk seems like he's doing a little bit better now that he's puked <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. So I decided to basically ignore Google Maps and take a different route because I wanted to skim the shoreline and this is what I came across. <laughs> Boop, you see that? I guess I'm gonna backtrack now. I did make a few stops, but everywhere I stopped was so crowded. I didn't wanna have to wait for someone to leave so I'd be able to park. I saw that there was a forest road I could take, but it was like so long and bumpy. I don't think I wanna do that. So I think I'm just gonna go back to the 101 and then go around to the West Shore. Whew, a lot of driving today. All right, let's keep going. Let's go, sleepy. 
So we're walking this trail to the world's largest Sitka spruce, one of my favorite trees. We just stopped at a few beaches. We did Rialto first and then uh, surprisingly stopped at Ruby Beach, which I thought was closed, but it was open and it was so beautiful. And lastly, we stopped at Kellelock. Um, but let's check out this Sitka spruce. I'm very intrigued and I love like the world's biggest anything, so yeah. Final stop for the day. I am stopped at this entrance to a beach that you can drive onto, but I'm not really trying to take a chance and drive the Prius down onto the sand. So I'm stopping for dinner because I'm starving and then after I eat, I'm gonna drive back home. Uh, it was a long day, a lot of driving. I don't know if it was that much of a success to be honest, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> so I'm making these noodles. They're actually quite interesting. They're like instant noodles, but they're like udon you see? they're like udon noodles i don't know if you're supposed to use boiling water you probably are but the translated into english uh instructions do not specify and i don't feel like boiling water right now so i'm just <laughs> i just use cold water and it has literally five packets of different seasonings and things which is i feel very unnecessary there's just so much plastic in this packaging, but you know, whatever. So yeah, let's just get started. Pico seemed like he was starting to feel a little nauseated again. So it was time to pull over and take another break. Let him, um, you know, rest. <laughs> Poor thing. And this is a good chance for me to eat. I've been trying to find just a nice place to post up and enjoy my food before driving back home and I mean I understand why but it annoys me that everywhere is just private access like every every piece of land is just owned by somebody and you can't access it it's quite annoying like the entire world just feels so overrun so this is like a sweet and spicy noodle and then there's peanuts in it. But it's like really saucy as you can see. Mm. So I'm gonna enjoy my cold saucy noodles and then hit the road and head back. So I don't think I'm gonna stop anywhere else but if I do, I will let you know. Hello, it is Monday the 31st and I just wanted to close out this vlog and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my couple mini trips during the month of May to Leavenworth and to the Olympic Peninsula. I actually just got back from having coffee with one of my best friends and we were planning a two week road trip down the coast to LA so stay tuned for that I'm super excited we are planning on working for the first week and kind of driving down the coast that week and then for the second week we're taking it off and we're going to do LA and some national parks around there so super super excited for that he hasn't seen a lot of the stuff down there so I'm really excited to show him like Big Sur and uh, Joshua Tree and just like the LA area in general so I'm really pumped to go back down the coast. Um, that's probably gonna happen at the end of June to the beginning of July. So stay tuned for the vlogs for that. But I just wanted to say thank you again for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe down here, give this video a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.